So this is one of the more important slides that you want to make sure you pay attention to. If you are turning 65 and know that you're going to go on Medicare for whatever reason, whether you're retired, your employer doesn't provide benefits, you're voluntarily going on Medicare, even if your employer does provide benefits, it's important to know what your initial enrollment period is. This is a seven-month window that surrounds your 65th birthday. So I'm a September birthday, so the months of June, July, and August, I can apply, and I would start on September 1st for my initial enrollment period. That's what's called doing it on time. If I miss September 1st for whatever reason and don't get my paperwork in or application into CMS or Social Security, I would wait now till October 1st to start my benefits. So in a sense, if I had no other health insurance at 65, and you know, my birth month, I went 30 days in a sense without Part B Medicare. Well, that means I have no one to pay my claims. And if I miss the month of September and I wait till October, now I would have to wait two months, October and November, to start in December. So now I've gone three months without Part B. I cannot emphasize enough during this presentation the importance of knowing your IEP and knowing what you should do. Now, if you're not on Social Security, you have to apply for A and B. You can do it online. You can do it over the phone. You can technically do it through the mail. Uh, you used to be able to go to SSA offices. They're closed right now. If they reopen, you can do it there. But you have to take an active part. They will not mail you your card. If you're on Social Security or railroad benefits currently, they will send you your red, white, and blue Medicare card approximately three months before your 65th birth month. So in my situation, I would get a red, white, and blue card approximately in June, early June more than likely, so that I have plenty of time to know that I'm going to start my Medicare on September 1st and that if I wanted to roll in a supplement, a prescription plan, or Medicare Advantage, that I would have ample time to do this. Now, I will talk about in a minute, if you're working past 65, you still have to address potentially things here or you have an option to. But again, if you're going on Medicare, make sure you know your IEP. Now, our website, medicareportal.org, has an IEP calculator. So if you're not sure when your IEP is, go to our website, put in your birth date, and it will tell you the length of your IEP, the seven month, when it starts and when it finishes. Again. I want to make sure I emphasize, make sure if you're going to go on Medicare, you start early and prepare at least 90 days prior to your birth month so you don't, again, you'll see not only delays in coverage, but there are penalties that we'll talk about here in a second. So if I were to miss my IEP, so again, using September as my birth month and my IEP lasting till December, if I miss that and I waited a whole year to try to get on Medicare, for every 12-month window that Medicare calculates from September, I would pay a 10% penalty of the Part B premium for the rest of my life. So today it's a 144.60 premium. That's the base premium. I would pay $14.46 every month for the year, this year if I was facing a 10% penalty. If next year I didn't enroll, say it was a 20% or 30%, Whatever you end up getting as a penalty will follow you for the rest of your life. It's not, a, it's not a good idea to put yourself in this situation because if you do miss your IEP, there's what's called a general enrollment period that starts in, in January of every year and goes through March, but you wouldn't start your benefits till July. So if I missed my entire IEP and enrolled in January, I still wouldn't start till July. So that means I've went almost 10 months without health insurance technically. So again, I can't continue to emphasize enough, know your IEP. Now, if you have a special enrollment period, which typically for this conversation is around someone working past 65, you would not have to enroll in Part B at 65, nor would you face a 10% penalty if you continue to work past 65. So understand that if you are working for an employer, you can delay your enrollment, However, if you're not in that situation, understand that you should take action during your IEP. The Part D also is calculated around that seven-month enrollment window. If you fail to enroll in that window, while it's calculated differently, as you see here, you pay a 1% penalty for each month that you went without, 
there's also delays in enrollment in that the only time you can add prescription drug coverage is during what's called the annual election period which runs October 15th from December to December 7th every year. Mm -hmm. So if I missed mine by December, I would have to wait till the next October to apply for Part D. I start next January. I would have gone all 12 months of next year plus four months of this year. I'd pay 16% penalty of what's called the National Benefit Premium Average, which is approximately $32. So I would pay for conversations, say, $5 a month in penalties the rest of my life because I didn't enroll in time for my Part D plan. 